What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Noah. I'm back with another video. And today, uh, I've been meant to vlog. However, I'm back today. I'm in the hospital with my son. Anyway, I came here to update y'all on the job. I love my new job. Y'all, they pay me good money at a nursing home. And the work is easy. I was in there yesterday on my day off. Like, I can't stay out of there. The only reason why I'm not going there today is because... I'm at the hospital with my son. Not only that, before I had to come to the hospital with him, I was just like, I'm tired today. You know, my body is just like, girl, go lay down. Plus, I woke up today and I had school assignments to do my math. I had an exam today. I did extra credit work and I have one more thing to do for math. Also, what else I want to update y'all on? On the home front, I still haven't found a place. I'm still at my mom's house, but to be honest, I, I've been looking, but I haven't really been looking like I was at first when I was going to see places because I'm just so tired of wasting my time. And now I feel like I don't know what part of the world I want to live in. I'm back to square one, basically, in my thought process. I like my job. I like the pay, but I want to move out of Philly. So it's just like, what am I going to do? <laughs> now, I'm going to have to get my mind right because if I don't, what I'm gonna do. It ain't gonna be nothing for me to do. There, there isn't going to be anything for me to do. <laughs> but yeah, I hope I don't get copyrighted because my son is watching something on his phone, y'all. And I'm sure y'all can hear it. I got all this stuff on my niqab. I didn't grab anything to come to the hospital with my baby. My daughter is home with my mom and my sister and her baby and stuff. But yeah, y'all, I love the job. However, the people are ghetto. They act like they in a hood. Let me turn his phone down. It's so loud. Thank you, Pa. They act like they're in a the hood at that job. Then the morning crew. The night crew is okay. It's just that they still are ghetto. I'm sorry for the yelling, y'all. That's somebody baby in here crying. But the night shift, they cool, but they a little ghetto. Even the managers, the nursing supervisors, it's ghetto. The morning crew, get to the T. I said, mine in the hood. But you know, I choose to separate myself from there. I'm still going to remain true to who I am. And I'm not going to be a part of it. And the nursing home is kind of like a dump, to be honest. And I felt like that's why they pay so much money. And if you have experience because they know that they are a dump but like i said the money easy to get if the residents not hard to do you don't get that many people that's it you know and you don't hit and miss with helping people you actually can give people the same amount of quality care as the next person no matter if they a total person like like a person that can't walk can't move their arms or if they just heavy, you know, extremely overweight and can't move their arms and stuff like that, it's still not hard. It's still not hard if you get somebody on a trach. And the thing I can say about a night shift, I worked on different units, and everybody will help you on the night shifts. That's one thing I can say. They are team-oriented, but very ghetto. Then you have a mixture of people in there. All the Caucasian people I've seen, they were nurses, and they were really old. Like, one of the nurses, looked, I thought she was a resident because she looked like she was at least 90 years old. Not even trying to, I'm not even being funny, but that's what I thought. But she was a, actually a nurse. I was like, wow. Some people just like their job. They don't want to stop working. And I'm not mad at you. Get your money, girl. And it's a lot of Haitians, Africans, different races like that. Nigerians in there. And they're all pretty nice. They got, they, they're all pretty nice. Some of them not, though. Like, some of the nursing supervisors, they just snobby. And I really don't deal with that kind of behavior well. So, I just stay away from it. But it's just, 11 to 7 shift is so sweet. Like, even when something happened, nothing's happened. Like, you get what I'm saying? That's the kind of job it is. I love their job. But anyway, y'all, I'm still in school, going hard. Like, it's basketball. <laughs> And I'm still trying to find a place. 
It's just I don't want to move anywhere. I'm not desperate to look nowhere. I can stay at my mom's house and me and my children. I don't care. However, I do want to move, but I'm not jumping to move into anything. No, ma'am. No, sir. Whoever watching. So, yeah, and I've been thinking about other ways to make extra money because, you know, it's basically trying to find a time because I have a lot of skills under my belt. I have a lot of things that I can do to generate some money. It's just I need to make time to do it. And, y'all, that's what I'm on. Like, I just want to start doing my teeth whitening, do teeth whitening courses. I want to do my CPR instructing courses. Like, I have so much I want to do. And I'm going to start with one thing at a time. I'm not even going to overwhelm myself just so I can become be successful. So that's what I've been thinking about, y'all. And that's what I've been up to. Same old, same old, just progressing in the world. That's all. But I just came to chat with y'all. I've been wanting to make a video, but I've just been so tired from work. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. YouTube, please don't copyright me for the background noise. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, y'all. See y'all.